8.19 p.m., TWA Flight 800 is airborne. explosion tears the fuselage apart. Debris from TWA Flight 800 litters the water nearly 75 miles east of Manhattan. Investigators begin the painstaking task of piecing together what happened to TWA 800. The NTSB's lead investigator, Al Dickinson, faces an urgent task. It was extremely important for us to find out what happened because there were so many 747s flying at that time. The NTSB will lead the investigation. This is a half mile block here. While the FBI launches a parallel criminal inquiry. You know, that people think this is exclusive uh, jurisdiction of the NTSB. That's not correct. If it's a criminal matter, we have to get out there right away. The FBI believes they may already have an explanation for the disaster over Long Island. Three years earlier, in 1993, terrorists drove a bomb into the World Trade Center. Just over a year before, Timothy McVeigh bombed the federal building in Oklahoma. Now, the mid-air explosion of TWA 800 is also being linked to terrorism. It was all over the news how People thought they saw something going up to hit an aircraft. A lot of them thought they saw missiles. NTSB investigators spend weeks carefully searching for any sign of foul play. They study wreckage from almost every part of the 230-foot-long plane. Pretty much during the whole time we were there, we were looking or something that would support any kind of missile or bomb. They find no signs of an explosive device. No pitting, no cratering, nothing. We didn't find the uh, soot patterns in a radiating pattern that might have been from a bomb. We didn't find this micro cratering where a hot piece of metal are, are impacting other pieces of metal wasn't a bomb. No piece had any evidence of a bomb at all. 